It was a moment of diplomatic stagecraft months in the making. But it didn't take long for President Donald Trump's domestic troubles to get in the way. As Trump sat alongside the North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, at a luxury hotel here, he was immediately confronted by the explosive allegations that his former longtime lawyer and fixer, Michael Cohen, planned to deliver to lawmakers in Washington later Wednesday. Mr. President, any reaction to Michael Cohen and his testimony? A reporter asked. Trump simply shook his head. Thank you, he said, dismissing the reporters and photographers gathered before him. Later Wednesday, the White House announced that it was limiting the number of reporters who would be permitted to attend a portion of Trump's dinner with Kim due to the sensitive nature of the meetings. As he has worked to turn President Vladimir Putin of Russia and Kim of North Korea from foes into friends and to rebalance the United States' relationship with China, scandals at home have repeatedly intruded on Trump, creating dueling headlines and distracting a president who pays inordinate attention to the news coverage of his presidency. This time was no different. While the president was dining on grilled codfish and roasted Wagyu beef medallions alongside Vietnamese leaders earlier Wednesday, Cohen released a copy of his prepared testimony, undercutting the president's self styled image as a dealmaker by labeling him a conman and a cheat. Cohen, who has cooperated extensively with special counsel Robert Mueller as well as federal prosecutors in the Southern District of New York, said in written testimony, that he had proof of the president's illicit acts. This includes a check Trump purportedly wrote after he became president to reimburse Cohen for a pre-election hush money payment to the adult film actress Stormy Daniels, who alleges she had an affair with Trump. The Cohen drama appeared to grate on some in the White House. I only hope that they focus on the issues at hand and didn't fly halfway around the world to ask questions they could have asked here, senior Trump adviser Kellyanne Conway told Fox News on Wednesday morning. Asked for comment about the Cohen testimony, the White House referred Politico to White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders' statement from Tuesday. It's laughable that anyone would take a convicted liar like Cohen at his word and pathetic to see him given yet another opportunity to spread his lies, Sanders said. The Cohen revelations created another surreal split-screen moment as cable news channels dissected the testimony even as Trump and Kim arrived for the first face-to-face -face meeting of the summit. The two leaders shook hands in front of North Korean and American flags, with Kim briefly smiling and Trump declaring that he believed the summit would be a great success. Asked by a reporter whether the summit would result in a formal declaration ending the Korean War, Trump said, we'll see. The president repeatedly praised Kim, who has been credibly accused of overseeing mass murders and widespread human rights violations, saying it was an honor to be with him. Our relationship is a very special relationship, Trump said later, ahead of a dinner with Kim.